Dear Gemini's, what's up with you all? Hope you are doing fantastic, fantabulous, mind blowing. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. So this particular reading is for my fellow signs Gemini and uh, about their person, their current thoughts and feelings starting from December 11 till December 21st. This is for my dear Gemini's, please. These cards are literally, you know, difficult to shuffle because of their shape. If you see, the, these are heart-shaped cards. But let's see. <laughs> let's start with your love messages. Wait. Don't rush into, a, uh, into it. Allow nature to take its course. Something is really happening. Something is really happening in your life and you're being guided to wait. Let nature take its course course okay do not rush into it sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred okay so whatever is going on dear gemini's right now just honor and treasure it because it is really sacred you may be with your twin flame or your soulmate as well right so let's see what are the current thoughts and feelings what is going to happen in december from december 11 till december 21st what are their current thoughts and feelings towards my gemini King of Wands. Oh, somebody is quite hot and cold in and out, but very attracted towards you. Okay. Lack stability. Say something, does something else. Okay. All right. And we have Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You're dealing with your counterpart, divine counterparts. Wow. And Eight of Pentacles. So this person definitely understands that, you know, this connection is just not anything. They can't take this connection for granted because this means a lot to them. They understand that the union between you and them is quite strong. The connect between you and them is quite strong. And like you are attracted towards them, they are heavily attracted towards you too. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of physical chemistry that I see. And they are ready to work upon this particular connection. They are ready to give in. They are ready to make this connection their priority. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck that tells me that they want a new beginning, okay? Uh, not only uh, based on uh, the attraction bit, but they are also very emotional for you. Ace of Cups is telling me that they definitely in love with you. They have emotions for you king of swords is telling me that you may be giving them a cold shoulder not focusing on this connection or onto them that much four of pentacles yet again tells me that somebody has blocked somebody you are not uh talking to them or showing their uh, your feelings to them or maybe they are not talking to you or showing their feelings towards you possibility is uh, somebody may have even blocked somebody if not then i see that the heart chakra is closed here, so do work on that. The world card is telling me probably there's a lot of negative cycle which is going on in this connection or in your life or in their life in general as well, which is now coming to an end. And otherwise as well, I see that they can be somebody who is traveling, can be an international trip as well, okay? Now let's see. What are your current thoughts and feelings towards this person? This is for my dear Gemini's. Three cards, please. ace of swords some amount of breakthrough even you have received dear gemini's um you want to communicate okay you want to communicate with them let's see what the next two cards says you want to communicate or you actually want to cut them off from your life completely i want to see but i think it's a breakthrough that you have received okay i'm gonna take only this one which is upside down uh i mean facing me <laughs> we have four of Swords, oh, thinking, breakthrough, thinking, resting, oh, feeling overwhelmed, overburdened, mm, self introspection. Mm, one more. Page of Cups. Okay, Gemini, I see that you have decided one thing. I see that, you know, this person, I feel that has been quite in and out from your life because at the bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Wands, we have Temperance, and we have Ten of Cups. You wanted a forever, okay? You actually at least 
saw them like you may have a forever or you may have seen them as their as your life partner but this person had a phobia probably a lot too much into addiction issues can be addiction of changing partners, addiction of uh, stability, sorry, uh, phobia of stability because of which this tower movement has caused. And you guys were not talking in a no contact separation situation. You tried to heal and balance yourself and you are still working upon it. Nine of Wands is telling me that this person has been quite in and out, okay, and you did not like it. And now there's a breakthrough and this breakthrough is telling me this Ace of Wands and Four of Swords is telling me that you actually want to cut off this person from your life completely. That's the breakthrough that you have received. Not a communication, but the breakthrough that, you know, should you move on and cut this person off? Because until and unless this person is not going to apologize to me for the things that this person has done to me in the past, I am not going to be there. And you're overthinking, okay? Even if you want to cut off this person, or this person may have cut you off, but some cut off energy is definitely there. Now you're thinking, little time, I don't get an apology. I will not move forward because Four of Swords is telling me you're healing, you're introspecting, you're overthinking, okay? You're taking rest from this connection. You're feeling overwhelmed and burdened, right? Now let's see, what is the outcome here? What outcome do we have here for my dear Gemini's? December 11 to December 21st. Outcome. This is for my dear Gemini, December 11 till December 21st, please. Oops. Queen of Cups. So, we have Queen of Cups. Okay. What next? Take it back. Just two more, please. Outcome. December 11, 21st for my Gemini's in their connection. Okay. Knight of Wands again. Oh, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Hierophant. I see that somebody's definitely thinking about marriage. Somebody's very mature here. Okay, definitely thinking about marriage. And the future prospect as well, or stability as well. So you see this person or you see yourself. Either it can be them who is looking forward for marriage or it can be you who's looking forward for marriage. But I see that somebody is definitely quite on and off, hot and cold in this particular connection with Queen of Cups. You have a lot of love, care, or this person have a lot of love and care. But then it's you who have been quite hot and cold or it's them who has been quite hot and cold i see it's them okay just take how it may resonate someone is here okay so someone definitely is in love someone is definitely very sensitive very caring very nurturing towards the other person and quite hot and cold as well uh, as to what exactly uh, you know that is something which is lacking because one person is definitely looking for stability six of wands ten of pentacles and six of swords at the bottom of the deck along with ace of wands which is telling me that there was a new beginning okay but somebody wanted to come towards you and then uh you know wanted to have a forever wanted to have a new beginning um uh, new um you know family with you kids with you but with six of wands um and success with you okay i think it was you it was you, but there were many conflicts, challenges, external people also involved here because of it, things did not work out between you all. Okay. I see that, you know, one person is looking for stability and the other person is not in this particular connection, the outcome. One person may be realizing, regretting, thinking about it. And one person may be cutting them, uh, cutting this connection off. Right, so a lot of messed up energy. I feel that one person is thinking a lot, other person is also thinking a lot, but then uh, they are in like two minds once they just want to get rid of it. And then they are like, what if I give commitment? What if I, they don't apologize? You know, things are a little uh, energies are all over the place over here. So 
I feel that you want them, but at the same point of time, you are kind of done with them in their mind. You are trying to be practical here, okay, rather than being emotional, dear Gemini's. All right, so that's about it. In case if you are looking for a personal private session, you can hit me up on my Instagram page. The link is in the description box below. Thank you.